Archeladon is a brand new Duraludon evolution introduced in the Indigo Disc DLC. This thing is a Steel Dragon type with an insane base 125 special attack, 130 defense, and a respectable 85 speed. It has the ability Stamina, which boosts defense one stage every time it's hit with an attack, but most importantly, it has its own signature move called Electro Shot. This is a two-turn 130 power electric move that boosts special attack one stage before each use. But under rain, it doesn't have to charge and is able to attack immediately. Archaladon has some insane power in bulk and with spammable electro shots, it can be a huge threat. Ladies and gentlemen, go ahead and grab yourself a raincoat, but also some sunscreen because the weather is about to go absolutely wild in today's match. And this is a super crazy match featuring a lot of the cool new stuff you can do with the weather thanks to the new DLC. If you're new to the channel and into that kind of thing, consider hitting that subscribe button. I'm on my way to 300k and the support is greatly appreciated. Let's go ahead and jump into the match. So look, there's going to be a ton of mind games involved in today's battle because they are running around a sun-based team. And of course, I have a rain-based team. So, I decided to toss out the bubblegum, they lead off with the Torkoal. Sadly, since, you know, Politoed is faster, I set up the rain first, and then their drought comes in, and now it's sunny. So, that is not really ideal, however, I still like this matchup, because I can go for the Earth Power. And, it makes the turtle disappear momentarily, but also, it does over half to it, and that is exactly what I'm looking for. So, in a matchup like this, weather is going to be super key. They have things like the Chlorophyll Venusaur, the Solar Power Charizard, and of course I have things that rely on the rain like the Kingdra, along with the Archaladon, and overall it's going to be it's going to be a crazy one. So, I decided to now switch out. I've been yawned. I don't want to be put to sleep. I also need to ensure that Politoed stays healthy. It's one of my main forms of setting up the rain, and I figure I'm going to switch out here and go into the Blastoise. As they actually end up switching, we got a nice little double switch here, and they end up going into the Charizard. So, we have the classic matchup out here, and while I do have the benefit of the type matchup, Charizard in the Sun is super scary. They're actually going to go ahead and commit the Terra here, and they end up going for the Terra Dragon. Charizard gets to be you know, the dragon that he always wished he was, and now they're pretty much free to go for a nice little extra stab boosted uh, dragon move. They do go for the Dragon Pulse here. Luckily, it's not going to be the Solar Beam. Now, I imagine they probably expected a switch, but I just stay in here because Leonardo says it is way too damn sunny out here. And I just go for the rain dance, and we're just out here just dancing in the rain, having a nice little wet time. That's also going to activate my rain dish. Gives me a nice little chunk of HP along with the leftovers, and we are sitting in a spot where we can definitely take another Dragon Pulse from this thing. So I figure it's probably in my best interest to try to just grab some damage here. I do have the coverage with that Ice Beam, and I know that they're probably just going to stay in here. They do go for that Dragon Pulse. We're able to take it nicely because Blastoise is absolutely the GOAT. Also, not to mention, this thing's new model in this game is actually amazing. The detail on the shell, they really gave some love to my dude Blastoise, and we're here for it. So, Ice Beam isn't quite going to be able to knock this thing out at full, uh, but after a Rain Dish and a Leftovers, it's looking like I'm close to being able to take another one, uh, but sadly, I think it's going to have just enough damage to knock me out with that Dragon Pulse. Plus, I don't have much that wants to switch into this thing, so I just decide to stay in, and they do finish me off with one more pull. But Blastoise was able to get the chip that I needed on the Charizard, plus I was able to set up the rain, and I'm in a pretty good position here to bring in my Swift Swim Sweeper in the Kingdra. So the sad news is they have two options to switch in and get rid of the weather, but at this moment in time, we are faster, and I'm able to knock out the Charizard if it stays in. So the good news about this situation is they have committed the Terra, so I'm always happy to see when they do go for that. I don't have to worry about any surprises in the back. But I'm just going to go for that Dragon Pulse here, even if they switch into one of the Sunsetters. Like, they are going to go into the Torkoal here. Uh, a Specs Dragon Pulse is still going to be able to take it out. So, in comes Torkoal, and uh, he decides to make it sunny. And Kingdra is out here just shriveling up like a damn piece of shrimp. But, Dragon Pulse takes care of it, and down goes one of their Sunsetters. Now, unfortunately, they do also still have a Ninetales on their team. And also, more importantly, they have the Frog. In comes the Venusaur. And with Chlorophyll, this thing is, you don't look like it, but them little legs can get going. They're thick as hell, and that is a very fast Venusaur at this moment in time. So I have to now switch out. I want to conserve the Kingdra because, again, if I can get my rain back up, we're in a good spot. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go right into the Politoed and say, no, no, no. You only get one turn intervals of your sun because <laughs> I'm afraid of solar beams. But they actually just end up going for the Sleep Powder. Good play, expecting, expecting the, the rain to be set back up with the Politoed. And now we're out here just a couple of frogs just having a nice little date. But we are not calling this bitch back. I did not want to deal with this thing. I end up switching out. I want to conserve 
the ability to easily set up the rain since considering rain dance blastoise is now gone that's my last form of it and they still have the nine tails in the back so i decided to go into the the, the fortress here i know that their only coverage on this thing would probably be in the form of like weather ball and in the sun that's a fire move but in rain we can deal with this thing and now that's gonna actually be able to force this thing to switch and this is gonna allow me to set up the old classic mid-game stealth rock i want to try to be able to punish switching as much as possible as they bring in the charizard just before the rocks go up so i'm in a situation here where of course you know the walnut is absolutely allergic to the fire from charizard however i don't have a lot that wants to switch into this thing so I decide to stay in, and I'm just going to go for that Gyro Ball as they actually just end up going for the Fire Blast, and even in the rain, Walnut gets absolutely roasted. My nuts have never been roasted and toasted at that level before, but it is what it is, and now this does allow me a free switch. I was at least able to set up my Stealth Rock, and now I can go back into the Kingdra, and I say, finally, it's, it's again, it's raining out here, we're having a nice time, and I decide to go for the Surf this time. I figure if they stay in with the Charizard, I outspeed, and in the rain, it definitely kills, also, if they switch into the Ninetales and even get the sun up, it's going to do a lot, even with the sun, with that choice specs damage. So, they do actually end up switching into the Ninetales here. It comes in, takes important chip damage from the Stealth Rock, but it does change the weather. I swear, the people in the background are probably like, what the hell is going on over here, man? The, rain, the weather is just all sorts of crazy. But I go for the Surf, and unfortunately, it just barely lives, which does suck. But the good news is, I've got it into range where now it can't really switch in and take Stealth Rock damage and get the sun back up. So the weather wars, we're on the we're on the cusp of, of handling the weather exactly how we want it. So I decide to switch right back into Politote. I figure surely they go for a solar beam here. I can just basically make it rain. And that is gonna force them to have a two turn solar beam rather than an instant one. And that actually works out perfectly because they do commit the solar beam. And at this point, they are going to be able to attack with that next turn. So this allows me a nice little window of opportunity to bring in the Archaladon. And I'm about to come in here hot like, hey, did anybody happen to order a goddamn bridge? Because I've got one for you. We come in looking pretty damn badass. And they do go for that solar beam. It's actually kind of hilarious to see solar beam go in the rain. But of course, it does not do much. But it also is going to give us a nice little stamina boost. Gives us a plus one. And listen, if you happen to need any staples removed or a bridge, I got the guy for you. Our Chalodon's out here ready to do it for you. They end up going for the Will-O-Wisp here which we are totally fine with. That's gonna be some chip, but overall, this is gonna allow me to, even though I'm slower, go ahead and get up a nice little Electro shot. So, again, ordinarily a two-turn move, but in rain, we're able to charge ourselves up immediately. And it also gives us that super important special attack boost before we go for the attack. So, we go full bridge form and absolutely blast the shit out of my dude, and down goes the nine tails. So, we're sitting at plus one special attack, and they have no ability to change the weather anymore. We've taken care of the Torkoal, and the nine tails, but that's the only two kills we have, and we've got some work to do. So, the rain is still up. Now they decide to go back into the Charizard. This thing is gonna be faster than me. However, I know that I can take an attack from this thing, and every time they hit us, it's actually gonna give us a stamina boost, which could be important. So, they're gonna go for the Terra Boosted Stab Dragon Pulse, and we are able to take that because our Jaladon ain't going down that easy, it gives us uh, another plus one in defense and I decide to finish this thing off just with another electro shot It can give me essentially just a free special attack boost and we could use just literally all the boost possible uh, Because this thing's just in range to die to anything So an electro shot takes care of the OG and we are in a pretty decent spot with the bridge here So taking care of the Terramon is amazing and now they get a switch into whatever they like Keep in mind I am sitting at plus two defense here the burn is gonna chip us just a little bit but they're gonna end up going into uh, the Shiftry here. So Shiftry is an interesting Pokemon. Again, it does have access to Tailwind and Wind Rider. So a lot of the time you're gonna see them running that. Um, and plus I'm actually five base speed faster than this thing. However, they have the Sucker Punch, but due to our stamina boost, we're actually barely able to hang on. Sits us at plus three defense now. I can finish it off with an Aura Sphere because we've got the coverage. And down goes the Shiftry, which is always a massive threat. So. Our Chalodon taking care of half the team. Unfortunately, now we do go down to that pesky damn burn, but our Chalodon did pretty much what we needed it to do here. Uh, and now we've got ourselves an empty, but wet battlefield. So I'm actually gonna end up going into the Electivire here. Now the two Pokemon they have left is Mimikyu along with the Venusaur. And Mimikyu is the main threat at this moment in time. I do not have its disguise broken. And considering you have to hit this thing twice, it's gonna be able to take care of Kingdra if I can't, you know, at least break the disguise. So. Uh, Electivire has a decent matchup here in that I know that I can take an attack from it and my goal again is just to break this disguise. So I go for the Earthquake here and they're actually going to end up switching out 
and into their only other option, which is going to be the Venusaur. So luckily, Venusaur are going to have to take a nice little neutral Earthquake from the boy Electivire here. And thank God Electivire is back. This thing is such an awesome Pokemon. I'm really excited to see what this thing can do. But what it can do for right now is absolutely go killing some frogs. We get some solid chip with that Earthquake, which opens the door for an Ice Punch to kill. And down goes the Venusaur. So now their final Pokemon is going to be... The Mimikyu. However, we are running low on rain. I believe there's one last turn left of it, and this Mimikyu can essentially go for whatever it wants to at this point. It can Sword Stance, or it can just go right for some damage here. So I'm just going to go for that EQ. It does, in fact, go for the Play Rough. I'm barely able to hang on, which is super clutch, because now, after some Life Orb Recoil, I can then Earthquake this thing, knock down its crazy little Mimikyu head, and uh, absolutely snap Buddy's neck, which uh, is amazing, because... Now Kingdra in the rain outspeeds and can knock this thing out, however, the rain goes away. So here's the situation I'm in. This thing essentially, it can outspeed, it does actually just knock me out with a Shadow Sneak, and I find myself in a spot where I can get in the, the Politoed to set back up the rain, which then enables Kingdra to be faster. However, Politoed is kind of just a sleeping duck at this point. If I bring in Politoed, I free that thing to be able to set up Swords Dances, and then it can then outspeed even if it has the rain up with that Shadow Sneak priority. So I find myself in a spot where there's only one way out of this, and that is just to go directly into Kingdra. And even without the rain, I do have a plan here. So Kingdra comes in, and for whatever reason, Mimikyu being faster is really annoying here. But what I can do is I can go for the Water Terra. That's effectively going to make me lose my Dragon Typing to where now Play Rough will be neutral. And even though this thing is going to go first, I should then be able to hit it with a nice little spec surf and hopefully finish the game. So I put the fountain on my head. We are no longer dragging out here. And we are absolutely no longer afraid of fairies. So they are going to, of course, go first. They go for that play rough. Thankfully, because I was able to change my type, I'm able to live. And then the spec surf is going to be able to finish off the Mimikyu. And that was a super crazy ending. Using Kingdra without the rain, uh, sometimes you got you to gotta make some shit up as you go. But... Thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the match. I had a lot of fun with them, with this one. This team is super interesting. There's a lot that it can do. Um, let me know what you thought. I uh, always enjoy reading your guys' comments, and the support is insane. So I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.